Hey everyone, uh, so I might have a triple pack or so of videos for you the rest of the day. That's right, a lot of videos. There's, there's just a lot of stuff going on right now. We have a bunch of news on Monster Hunter to get to here later today. Um, there was a Monster Hunter like direct today, so uh, I, didn't, I didn't live stream it, but we will be talking about that. Uh, and there's a lot of other stuff to talk about as well, uh, especially from uh, Xbox side of things, although we'll, we'll, we'll get into that a bit later. This is actually going to be about Nintendo possibly looking into... Some sort of cloud gaming uh, something or other on Switch, whether it's a service like like xCloud or maybe it's a way to deliver future, uh, you know, old games, kind of like what happens with Sony. So uh, there's something happening here factually. This isn't, there's going to be a lot of speculation here, but it's based on something that's factually occurring at Nintendo. But before we get to that, I got to remind you, we are giving away, speaking of Monster Hunter, a copy of Monster Hunter Rise along with... Da, 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 to $20 Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, or Xbox gift cards. To enter, head down to the description or the pinned comment. All right. So there's this interesting hiring post that was linked to me, uh, credit fully to Sonic Man the Best. He actually has a YouTube channel, uh, but he linked to the, uh, I'll link to his YouTube channel down below, actually. But he told me about this on Discord. And I thought this was interesting because Nintendo's looking to hire someone in the United States. Uh, for a senior architect of cloud application and data. And I just thought this was for their, their backup services, right? This is this is just to backup games, right? You know, they, they, they have that cloud backup service. Uh, that, that's really all I thought this was. Uh, but the more I read into the description of duties, the more I'm starting to think Nintendo's looking into something with cloud that's a lot bigger deal than just backing up games so here's the descriptions of duties once you get past the initial mumbo jumbo explaining what nintendo is and their background uh, description of duties is networks with senior internal and external personnel across multiple areas define long-term plans for nintendo of america it evolution partnering with other it leadership with a focus on creating well-informed application and data architecture strategy regularly evaluate cloud services, frameworks, and best practices, work closely with IT security to adopt and implement application and data security best practices, support development teams in selection and use of data technologies and practices. Now, that's all cloud stuff, right? Cloud data, backup services. I get it, okay? That's obviously going to be included with this job. But let's, let's, let's read further. Work with the application teams that define and implement roadmaps for services and applications applications as we transition to cloud work with application teams to define and implement roadmaps for services and applications as we transition to cloud what what let's go on before we talk about this participates in the development of a common enterprise-wide cloud strategy Review adherence to our selected architectural principles, standards, and tools through architectural reviews and or testing. Help to maintain compliance with regulations with regards to areas like security frameworks, control systems, etc. Assist the overall architect team in developing the foundational frameworks for the creation and delivery of software and infrastructure services across Nintendo of America. And in some cases across NCL in areas like serverless applications, containers, tools, and standards, including monitoring SLAs and security. Infrastructure layer to support services working closely with the infrastructure teams, security, and enterprise-scale cloud integration platforms. Assessing technical architectures, infrastructures, and applications to identify oppor opportunities to document and define reusable processes, components, objects, and data. Defining and documenting processes, services, data, and objects to ensure the technical solutions take advantage of the defined standards and ensure interoperability between and across solutions, et cetera, et cetera. There, there's a little bit more in there. You work with the chief architect. Um, and obviously, you got to have a lot of experience uh, with IT and cloud services and Oracle, Microsoft, open source technologies, a bunch of stuff. I'll link to the hiring post down below. I think what's interesting here is the emphasis on cloud. Yeah, obviously, the beginning, that's all about their cloud backup safe system, all about um, you know files and storage stuff. But like they're looking into things like, Enterprise-wide cloud use. Now, this is obviously very useful for things like working at home. So, obviously, they're they're working on some services here to make working at home a lot more palpable and a lot more efficient. That makes sense to use cloud for that. But what's interesting here 
is when he talks about work with the application team to define and implement roadmaps for services and applications as we transition to cloud. They're transitioning to cloud, not only internally, but likely externally. What is Nintendo working on? Now, we know they have some cloud games already on Switch, right? Factually, cloud games exist. Right now, you can go on the Nintendo eShop here in America and buy a copy of Control and play it online 1,000%. 100% through the cloud. And it actually works pretty damn well. If you have, as long as you obviously have a stable internet connection, good enough speed, all that jazz. Not a concern in my house. So, yeah, it works really 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 well. A lot better than I think people expected. Certainly when you were testing out their prior cloud services in Japan, uh that, you know, while well, you're on Japanese servers in America, obviously there's going to be some problems, but it works pretty well. And it looks like Nintendo is putting a massive emphasis on cloud, not just here in, in America, also at NCL. That is huge. Nintendo is like seemingly going all out for cloud, inside and out. So what can this mean for the future? One, obviously, we have to, we'd be remiss if we didn't even talk about the possibility of a cloud service. I don't know what Nintendo could possibly be planning. I don't think when you're hiring a senior person for it at this point, this is something you're going to see soon. I think if a cloud service comes, it would be five years down the line, possibly. But think about it. Nintendo could be working on a cloud service right now that's just like xCloud. And what if it's basically xCloud and Game Pass put together? Now, look, if there's any company that could get 30, 40, 50, 100 million people subscribe to a cloud service. It's Nintendo. Because if Nintendo does a Game Pass like service with a cloud aspect that enables you to play their games, maybe at first on Switch, but maybe they end up tying it to, you know, maybe you can play it on PC or something. You know how many hundreds of millions of people would subscribe to that service? Now, I don't know that this makes sense for Nintendo in the here and now. When you got Animal Crossing, possibly going to hit 40 million, maybe 50 million in sales before it's all done. I don't know that it makes a lot of sense right now for Nintendo to toss out a cloud service, at least for their first party games, you know, like a Game Pass. But do I think working on cloud technologies for something in the future makes sense? Yeah. And I think Nintendo would be idiotic if they weren't. So this is very interesting to see a public hiring post where Nintendo's like, dude, we're, we're doing cloud inside, we're doing cloud outside. We're using cloud for everything. Let's get it done. Now, on the more maybe conservative side and, and maybe even a more likely side, possibly they could take things like the NES app, the SNES app, an N64 app, basically virtual console and make that a subscription service. Sony actually already does this. So it wouldn't be shocking to see Nintendo decide, look, We've been reselling and repackaging our classic games forever, and now we're offering them through a subscription service. Anyways, if we're already going to offer them through a subscription service, why don't we make it a cloud service? We already check and check online before you play these games, so why not just make it a cloud service, and then we can just infinitely add games, and that cloud service is easily transferable platform to platform. We don't need to redo and rework the games every single time. You know, they, they literally, it would make a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense when Sony did it. It would make a lot of sense for Nintendo to do it. So that is also something to do. So if you're someone who's hoping for full virtual console, well, I mean, it won't be like it was, but it could be a hell of a lot better than it is now. And that's exciting too. Now, that's a lot to infer from this hiring post, but one thing's for certain. Nintendo is massively investing in cloud technology. What they end up using it for, at this point, is anyone's guess. You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rebel Jets from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.